I really do believe that um, providing high quality care to an underserved community is an act of social justice. Hi, I'm Dr. Elaine Batchelor. I'm the CEO of Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital. I run a community hospital in South Los Angeles. My job is to provide great health care and improve the health of the community we serve. I kind of grew up in the library um, reading books and I remember as a young girl reading a book about St. Luke who was a physician. And he was a physician who was a scientist, a healer, and a social activist. I remember being really inspired by that, and that sort of formed my conception of what it meant to be a physician. South LA is a very low-income community and lacks a lot of resources, not just healthcare, but you know, schools, employment, transportation, housing, uh, safe places to exercise and recreate. So it, it really lacks a lot. And because it's a low income community, it doesn't attract the healthcare providers that more affluent communities attract. So for example, we have a 1200 physician deficit in South LA, and it's directly related to the fact that most of the people who live here are poor and they're covered by Medicaid and Medicaid doesn't pay providers very well. Before I even came here, I was pretty familiar with this community. I had worked as the chief medical officer at LA Care Health Plan for about eight years. I knew that the old hospital had closed in 2007 and left the community without access to the health care they needed. So it just felt like the natural next thing for me to do, really. So this hospital is pretty special. It came about because of what we call a public-private partnership. The public partners provide funding and the private partners operate the hospital and make sure that it is meeting the highest standards. So when you combine those two things, it's pretty powerful. We're a community hospital. We're here to serve the entire community, regardless of their income, their insurance coverage, their immigration status, we are open to everyone and welcoming to everyone. Hospitals are what we call anchor institutions. So they're large organizations that employ a lot of people, stimulate a lot of economic activity, and become a huge resource in a community. With the opening of this hospital and the services on this campus, we're also seeing development of the surrounding community and resources and investment coming into the community. And that's what communities need to be healthy. Communities of color don't necessarily trust large institutions and um, don't feel that they've always been treated well by large institutions, so there often is that trust gap. We address that in a couple of different ways. One way is that our workforce and our staff are primarily people of color, and they're people who come from the community. So when people come in, they see people who look like them, they see people who speak their language, they see people who understand the circumstances of their lives. And I think that makes a huge difference in being able to, under, to establish that trust. One of the other things that we started doing before the hospital even opened is going out into the community and getting to know people in the community. So instead of always expecting people to come to us, we go to them. So we started a screening, health screening and education program that we call Know Your Basics, and we take it into places that people frequent. So we went into um, farmer's markets and shopping malls and hair salons and barber shops. We're doing a new iteration of it that we call Man Up that's really located in barber shops. We know that men are not always comfortable talking about their health, so we're bringing the doctor to them. And we've assigned doctor mentors to these barber shops, and we go into the barber shops and we screen people for diabetes and we check their blood pressure and we talk to them about their health. You know, we don't want to try to insist that people come into the hospital all the time. We need to meet them where they are 
And that's an important part of, of how you start to build that trust. I'm looking at this from a health equity lens. And so what I want to see is a more level playing field for communities like this. So, you know, one of the reasons that I find um, something like Medicare for All attractive is because it would be a step up for people who live in this community. It would mean that providers could make a, a better living practicing medicine in a community like this. And people who live here would have access to the care they need. So I think it's important for us to have elected officials who care about communities like this, understand the challenges, and are willing to advocate for, for this, the right solutions. We measure progress in a number of ways. When we first started, it was really simple. We, were, we had put everything in place, and when we were like, will people come back? And at first we were worried, you know, we, did, we didn't know whether they would come back, and then they started coming back, and as people came and saw what we were about and saw how beautiful the facility is, the wonderful people who work here, the compassion and the great care. We just started to, to get extremely busy. So ultimately, how we will measure our success is by the impact that we're having on the health of the people that we serve. So one of the other important things that we do in this community is we reach out to the young people who live here and we've developed partnerships with the local schools. And we have two goals there. One is to teach them how to take care of themselves and be healthy, but the other is to encourage them to take care of their own community and to pursue careers in healthcare as well. So we're, we're trying to train the next generation of nurses and doctors and pharmacists and you know, all of the different kinds of people who work in healthcare so that the community will be empowered to take care of itself. I have to tell you that we felt pretty proud, you know, day one when we opened and started taking care of patients. But I guess what I feel is our biggest accomplishment is establishing really compassionate, high quality care and establishing that reputation and making it a reality. That was our dream when we started down this road to open this hospital. And I feel like we're fulfilling that promise and, and that, that's pretty exciting for us.